Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. So today I wanted to sit down and film for you guys a video all about my favorite brushes. Now I know I mentioned in my What's in My Makeup Kit video that I just posted that I was going to do a video sharing with you guys all my favorite brushes. And I was looking back at my videos and I could have sworn I filmed a video like this before, but I guess I hadn't. So without further ado, these are all of my favorite brushes and brushes that I would recommend. Okay, so I'm going to start off with face brushes. So I've got my foundation brush here. And this is from Real Techniques. This is the Expert Face Brush. Now I've had this for a couple of years and I just always go back to it. And I've tried so many other kind of like dense buffing foundation brushes and this one is just my favorite. I find sometimes my problem with like dense buffing brushes like this is sometimes they'll be too too dense that it'll just like absorb all of your foundation and you end up wasting a ton of product. So I really like this one. It's not too sparse it doesn't do the job but it's just the perfect amount of bristles and it's super soft and I find every time I wash it it just gets better and fluffier and this is just my go-to so I would highly recommend this. It's also super affordable. I got mine at the drugstore but I I would definitely recommend checking out Real Techniques brushes, um, but yes, I love this foundation brush. It is just my favorite. Okay, next up, I have another duo fiber brush here, and this one is from Sigma. This is a small duo fiber in F55. Oh, and I just want to apologize. I didn't really clean my brushes before I did this because I used a bunch of them this morning, so they might be a little dirty, but just pretend that's not on there. Um, anyways, I love this brush. I've always been really into duo fiber brushes just because I always use a bunch of cream products like cream bronzers, cream blushes, cream highlights, things like that. So I like to have a bunch of duo fiber brushes. So basically, if you don't know, typically more synthetic brushes work well with creams and more natural hair works best with powders. Um, so duo fibers are great because they really give like that beautiful kind of air brush finish, but um, they work really good with creams as well. So you can kind of use these ones with both creams and powders. I really like this brush in particular because it is a bit more sparse than the last foundation buffing brush I showed you, but this is really good for like cream bronzers and cream blushes or something where you don't want to deposit as much like coverage and you want a lighter application. Um, so I really like this one and I find Sigma brushes are really great dupes for a lot of higher end brushes, say like MAC or like Makeup Forever um, or more expensive brushes like that and I find these do the job just as good. Oh, and before we hop deeper into this video, I just want to apologize to you guys. My voice is super like hoarse right now and kind of scratchy, so I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm dying. Um, next up, it's another Sigma brush actually, and this is just like a uh, such a favorite of mine. You can tell because all the labels have like worn off the handles. But this is a tapered highlighting brush. Ooh, I don't know if I can see the number. I will put the numbers down in the description box because I can't tell on this brush. But this is just an amazing little powder brush. Now I think it's originally intended for like highlighting and things like that, which it totally can do the job for that and I don't mind it for that. But I particularly love this brush to set under my eyes. So when I'm done my makeup and I just need to kind of lightly set under my eyes or even like around my nose, any areas that are a bit like smaller and need a bit more precision, um, I really like how this has the tapered end. And I like it because I don't like to like over powder my face too much, I just really like to set certain areas. So this gives me a lot of precision without going in with like a super fluffy all over face powder brush. Okay, the next brush that I have here is from Lexi. You guys will probably see a trend with my favorite brushes. I typically like to go for smaller, more precise face brushes versus like really big and fluffy brushes. So this one actually looks very similar to the Sigma brush that I just showed you. The Sigma brush is a bit more stiff. It is still super soft, but it is a bit stiff um, and it is a bit more tapered, which is good for really setting and placing product down. This one is a bit more rounded and a bit fluffier. The bristles are definitely a bit more flexible on this as well. So it's really good for blending. So this one is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. I don't really like to use it for highlighting again just because I find it deposits a bit too much product. But for contouring, I think it's absolutely amazing. It fits just like so perfectly into my cheeks and into my cheeks, um, onto the hollows of my cheeks. Um, and it blends out super seamlessly and it's just so soft and it's just, uh, it works so good. So I absolutely love this brush. I would definitely recommend checking this one out if you do like smaller face brushes. Okay, so moving on to slightly larger face brushes, I have one here from Studio 10 that I love. This is the brush in Cheek. It doesn't have a number, it just says Cheek. But it's like one of those double-ended brushes, which are actually so annoying. Like, I normally never go for double-ended brushes like this, just because I find them super hard to store. Because if I'm putting them in like a brush roll, one end will get damaged. Or if I'm standing them up in like my brush holder, one end gets damaged and it's just... Ugh, I just don't really understand the point of double-ended brushes. But I did make an exception for this one because it is such a fantastic brush, although I would prefer them to be like two separate brushes. But that's besides the point. Um, but this end here is a little angular brush, and I do normally like to have at least one angular, br angular brush. I'm getting tongue-tied. One angular brush while doing my makeup, just because I find it's really good for blending out bronzer on my cheek or even putting on blush. 
Um, so yeah, I find it really great for doing anything on the cheek area or even like along the jawline. Um, I just really find these brushes useful. And side note, the bristles on here are super soft, so they're really good for blending out any powders. Now the other end of this brush, it's this really big and fluffy kind of all over face brush, which I like to use if I'm dusting away excess powder. So say if I've like set my under eyes and set my T-zone, it's really good for just kind of feathering that away. And also if I am in a pinch and don't have a clean brush, this can be used as like a blush brush. It is a bit large typically for what I go for with blush, but um, I find since the bristles are so soft, it just is so like easy to blend out. Okay, the next brush that I have here is a Morphe brush, and this is the Morphe E3. Now Morphe is another really great brand for more affordable brushes. They're just so soft and uh, so budget friendly, so definitely worth checking out them. Um, but I really like this brush in particular for bronzing. Now if I don't want to use that angular brush that I just showed you guys, and I want to do more of like an all over kind of beach goddessy kind of look, and I just want like an all over sun kissed kind of glow, um, I do like a big brush like this. So this one's great because it is a bit more tapered. It's not like completely splayed out that you have no control. It does have a slight bit of a point at the end, so it gives you a bit more precision. So I like to just use this kind of bronze all over my face like that. Um, and yeah, it's just so amazing for blending out product and just kind of giving you an all over glow. Okay, so this next brush goes against everything I just said about big face brushes because this thing is massive. This is the Makeup Forever 128 brush and this thing is like a quarter of my face. Okay, maybe not a quarter of my face, but this is a big, big brush. Um, and I don't always reach for brushes like this, but if I am going to reach for a large brush, this is the one that I go for. So on occasion, I will use this for bronzer on my face because it just, it covers everything. Or I'll use it to dust away powder or if I need to really set my face, this is good. But what I really like this for is actually for more of my body. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, why do you use a brush on your body? But say if I am wearing like a dress or like a sleeveless like shirt or something and I do want to add a bit of bronzer down my neck and down onto my shoulders, I like to use this brush because it does cover a ton of area so it's super quick and also it's not streaky, you won't be able to tell that you applied makeup all over your body. Now I'm not too sure how you guys will like it as a face brush because like I said, it is a giant brush and I've got a pretty large face and I find this pretty overwhelming to use. But if you are looking for a really high quality big fluffy brush this is one that I would go for okay so moving on to slightly smaller brushes I have some concealer brushes here this one is from wet n wild and this doesn't have a name on it but this is like their concealer brush I don't think they do too many and these are the ones that have like the pink ends so maybe that'll help you out but these are super super cheap and really affordable I'm pretty sure these are like a couple of dollars for one brush now I really like this brush in particular to clean up any kind of mistakes that I make if that makes any sense so it's a really like stiff and densely packed synthetic brush so it's really good to use in like a cream concealer and say I need to clean up like my eyebrows or like around my lip line or anything like that this is incredible also really good for kind of like defining like your sharp wing liner or anything like that so this is kind of like my makeup mistake corrector brush so if I make any mistakes this is kind of like a little eraser um, it works really good in concealer obviously it's really good for pinpoint concealing as well and covering blemishes I personally prefer more of like a dense kind of mini buffing brush I'll show you in a second um, but for cleaning up any mistakes and like sharpening any lines a little brush like this is fantastic so speaking of concealing blemishes my favorite way to do that is with the Sigma precision flat p80 brush now this is like my go-to because you guys know I'm very acne prone so covering up pimples is kind of like my specialty but I find this to be my favorite I like to use this with the NARS creamy concealer like that is just a, a winning combination but this is basically like a little baby foundation brush like it's super dense um, this one in particular has a flat top which is amazing for kind of like stamping on product it's just really great because it is so dense so you do get a really full coverage application but since there are so many bristles it really kind of seamlessly and like airbrushes and like makes things look amazing and since we're on the topic I just want to throw it out there I would recommend cleaning your concealer brush very very regularly that is if you're using it to conceal like active blemishes or acne or things like that just because you don't want to like use it to conceal a breakout and then spread it somewhere else or anything like that um, I personally clean this brush literally between every single use I'm a little like crazy about that just because I don't want to spread my breakouts anywhere else but I have a little bottle of 99% uh, alcohol so I just spray that on there and wipe it off on a tissue and I'm good to go I mean I do deep clean my brushes about like once or once a week once a week maybe more once every two weeks sometimes I get a bit lazy about that but I always am very diligent about cleaning my concealer brushes so make sure you clean your brushes okay moving on to another concealer brush now, I know it seems like I have a million concealer brushes but they each have a different purpose and they're all very necessary this one here is from Burles Cosmetics and it doesn't have the name of the brush on it which is just so annoying I don't know why brush companies don't put the full name of the brush on the brush but anyways I will figure out what this one is called and put it down in the description box but this is basically another very small mini buffing brush 
very similar to the idea of the Sigma one, but the Sigma one is a flat top, whereas this is like a rounded top, and this is actually a bit more dense than the Sigma one is. But this is absolutely incredible for blending out under your eyes. Now I use like a liquid under eye concealer, and this just gives you like the most flawless, airbrush, creaseless finish. It's absolutely incredible, so I love this brush. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to some of my favorite eye brushes now. Now this brush that I'm gonna show you, this might just be my favorite brush of all time. Like I cannot do my makeup without this brush. This is such an essential for me, and I just think it is so incredible. It has so many different uses. This is the MAC 217 brush. Now you can use this with cream products. It is a synthetic brush, so it works incredibly with like concealer, um, cream highlighters, cream eyeshadows, anything like that, but it is designed to be an eyeshadow blending brush. So it works incredible with powder eyeshadows, either blending out colors, putting colors into the crease. It also does kind of have like flat edges, so I can even like pack product on with it. You can literally do an entire eyeshadow look with just this product, or just this uh, brush. Um, it is so incredible, and I think it's just such an essential for me. I've tried so many different dupes of this and replications. I had the Sigma one, I tried so many other ones, but nothing compares to this. This is such an incredible product. This is the winner. Okay, the next brush that I have here is also a blending brush, but it's very different from the one that I just showed you. This is the Inglot 6SS brush. Now this is very similar to the idea of the MAC 224 blending brush, which is like a super popular brush, but I prefer this one way more. I like the shape of this one a lot better. It seems very similar from looking at it, but it is slightly more tapered, and every time I clean this brush, it just gets more fluffy and more soft and amazing for blending. Um, it isn't scratchy at all. It is pretty large, like it's a lot larger than the 270 brush. So normally what I'll do when I'm doing my eyeshadow is I'll apply the product either with a more precise brush or the 217 and then I'll blend it all out with this brush. So normally the Inglot brush doesn't really get product placed onto it. This is mainly just for blending things out and it's absolutely incredible with that. So an amazing brush for blending out powder eyeshadow. This is like the winner. This is a winning combination right here, these two together. Okay, and then for a shader brush, I like the MAC 239 brush. This is like such a classic. I feel like everyone has this brush, um, but it's just, it really is a fantastic shader brush. It's not too stiff, but it isn't too like flexible and soft. Really good for packing on color, um, and this is definitely an essential for an eyeshadow look. I love this brush. Now another essential for me is a pencil kind of smudger eyeshadow brush. This one here is the MAC 219, which is my favorite. I have tried a couple other ones from like Morphe and what other ones do I have? Um, I don't know. Anyways, this is definitely my favorite one though. I just find it's the perfect stiffness. Some of them can be a bit too stiff to the point that it kind of is like irritating the eye. Um, but it isn't too soft that it makes a big mess everywhere. It's amazing for making like a really smoky eye or smudging out say like a cool liner. Also, since it is a synthetic brush, it works really well with cream. So you can even use this to pinpoint conceal on like blemishes and things like that. Um, so again, it's a very versatile product and I think it's really great and I would definitely recommend checking this one out. Then for a liner brush, my favorite brush for a gel liner is the Inglot 3-1-T brush. Now this is just so perfect because it is a synthetic brush, so it's super smooth and it doesn't kind of splay out. It really keeps its shape and it has a super precise angle, so it really gets me that sharp winged eyeliner that I'm looking for. Um, and I haven't found any other brush to hold up as good as this one, so I would definitely recommend this out if you like a cream liner or a gel liner because this one is just amazing. Okay, and the last brush that I have here is my all-time favorite eyebrow brush. This is the MAC 266 brush. Now at first glance, it probably looks very similar to the Inglot brush I just showed you guys because they're very similar in size, but they are very different in the sense that the Inglot brush, um, the bristles on there are a lot more sleek and like smooth and like glossy kind of feeling, I guess, whereas the MAC one is a bit more coarse and a bit more harsh and more stiff. So I find that this one is really great for giving me that kind of messy, natural eyebrow look that I like. Um, it works amazing in brow powders, which is normally what I use this for. Um, yeah, and nothing can replace the MAC 266 as my eyebrow brush. I have not found anything better. Okay, so that's it. Those are all of my favorite brushes. I hope you guys found this video useful, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what your all-time favorite brushes are, because I'm always on the hunt for more brushes. Brushes are one thing that I can never have enough of, so I would love to hear your feedback. Thanks you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!